Hello, how are you doing tonight? So this is Church's Family Farm, I'm Church, and I wanna to talk to you about vidIQ today. Uh, it's what we use. All right. <laughs> okay. No one is there. Hey, well, hello. All right. So I want to talk to you about... Vid IQ. So Vid IQ is a program that helps you decode um, your analytics. So your analytics from YouTube, Vid IQ will pull from them and it'll give you more detailed layout of what's going on with your channel and your subscriber counts and your video views. They have a nice little tracker. So when you pull up the YouTube, it'll uh, give you a graph. Um, you can choose to put that on the top of your browser, right up on the top of the screen. And it'll tell you, you know, what your average is for uh, how many subscribers you gain a day, what your average video views are. It basically gives you a more in-depth view of what YouTube gives you. Okay. So it'll tell me what videos I should double down on, what videos I'm getting the most views on. And let's see. So the top videos that I have posted or let's see, I want to say this is last last month. Um, pig birthing, also also known as farrowing, that was our largest uh, view for the last month. Then the Amazon twenty five dollar gift card shout out to your channel. That was our second highest. But the pig farrowing. That got us over 2,000 watch time, 2,000 minutes. So, and then it just, it tells me which videos I should double down on. You can do a channel analysis on it. And it'll tell you, uh, it'll tell you if your description's too long, it'll tell you what tags, or help you with your tags. If you think somebody else's video is getting really good with their tags. Hey, how's it going? So vidIQ will give you other channels tags. So you can scroll down on the screen and you can see what tags they have put into that video and you can actually copy them. Okay. So you can copy them and then pull them to your screen. It's vidIQ, it's right there. It's the title of this live stream. Here, let me spell it out. Right here. Here. It's totally free to use. So it's totally free to use. But it is, uh, they do have a subscription portion of it. 
but they will also give you um, the other channels tags. So if you like how a video is performing for a smaller channel is your best bet. If you can find tags that a smaller channel is using that is getting them a ton of views, uh, steal them. <laughs> it's not really stealing because they're public knowledge. You just have to have the right software to do that. And vidIQ, it does, um, you know, on like your internet browser, how you have those additional tabs. It runs as one of those. It's an add-on. So you have to allow it to go to your channel. So it's going to be in the background. It'll also ask, um, it'll say, are you sure you want to allow vidIQ to publish on your behalf? Well, the thing is, vidIQ doesn't actually publish for you. They just have to have that to read your information. So, let's see what else is going on with vidIQ. Um, you can get, so on their website, if you log in, it'll pull up all your videos for it. It'll tell you your live streams and what kind of tags you're using and what the ranking is on your tag. So if you ever wondered, yeah, it is pretty crazy. So if you ever wondered how your tag was performing, so say you type in farm and somehow you're like, Oh yeah, it, it's hard to gain subscribers. It's the hardest part is just getting your video out there. Um, you know, it's really hard when the smaller channels, when they try and publish something, YouTube uses an algorithm and nobody can really decipher it except for YouTube and Google because it's basically the same thing. But vidIQ, at least will tell you where your tags are ranking. So I have on my pig birthing video, I'm gonna pull open that one. It'll give you a performance score. It'll tell you how many likes you get and all that, but your it's a lot like TubeBuddy. So if you've tried TubeBuddy, it's kind of the same thing. TubeBuddy will also give you other people's tags, but vidIQ, I prefer just because of the way that it, uh, um, it's easier for me to uh, go through and understand what's going on. TubeBuddy is a little difficult for me because it doesn't, it keeps telling me I have notifications and I go into it and it's the same notification it was. 10 seconds ago. But if you pull up YouTube and go to any channel you want, you can actually see how their video is performing. So let's just go to yours. Uh, yes, it isn't. I'm not sure if it's an app on a phone. I don't know if it has one for that. I use it for the computer and I have TubeBuddy on my phone. But I don't post from my phone, I post from my computer because that's where I do all my editing. But, you know, it's just like any software you download on your computer. Let's see, we want to go to this channel and copy. So the favorite, my, my favorite thing that I like about vidIQ is it'll actually tell me what the search rate is for a particular um, inquiry. So I typed in the Corgills. Now your search volume is zero. All right, so nobody actually types you guys in. 
But you are ranked number one on that. <laughs> Competition level will give you that. And it's very low, so you're good there. You know, if your channel was just family farm, the volume would be extremely high for how many people search that. And your competition would be really competitive. So it'd be way in the red, and probably in the orange for uh, your overall. But I can look up all of your guys' tags and by the looks of it, VidIQ will tell me. So VidIQ is telling me that your video, the title is perfect. The tags, too few. So you guys don't have enough tags. Your description is good. And this is on the video DIY tin wall, crazy cheap, very easy. Okay. But your tags are too short. So you should be putting more tags in there. And you should at least have one card in there in the video. And you should probably share it to Twitter. Otherwise, you're good on the title, description, and screen. You shared it to Facebook, you made it public, pinned a comment, and hearted a comment, okay? So that's perfect right there. Well, you, you need to work on your tags. So on this video, you only have, let's see how many tags you actually have. You have one, two, three, four, five tags, all right? Now you can do up to 500 characters in tagging. So you should be adding more tags. So I will copy this. And this is the best part. Here's all the tags you use. Hey, Frugal Farmer, how you guys doing? So here's all the tags you used in your video. You should have a way bigger list, all right? So when you go into a video, you can search, or when you're gonna go and upload a video, you can search a, oh, what is that? A tag, tag request. So the subscription just gives you more. The free version gives you three. And then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna change that request for your uploads. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel you. So I would change your tags. Yes, turning your phone sideways makes it the proper displacement for a video. Um, but other than that, still, it's okay to film it. As long as you film it and you're engaged, people are going to really, you know, they're going to respond to it. But let's go to my studio. And in my studio, when I upload a video, let me go to one. So I'm going to go to my videos and I'm just going to go to That's the title and description, I didn't want that. I wanted to go to details. And when I'm on my details, I have my tags at the bottom. So for my last video of Let's Talk Pigs, or Pig Talk with the Kid, or Pig Talk, the Kid Wants Answers. For pigs, that tag, I am actually ranked uh, 35th and a half. So out of an overall score, it's okay. But my vidIQ SE score is not quite where I want it to be. And I'm not sure how I can get it there. All I can keep doing is just posting videos and just trying to make the tags dominant.
Yes, tags can always be updated. You can. I'm looking at mine right now. And for my most recent, this is that video I was just talking about. And here's all the tags I used. Oh, I can't post them all. <laughs> I have uh, 466 characters. And boy, that's just a lot. Let's cut those. Whoops. We'll cut those. So here's some of them. And those are all generated by vidIQ. So I typed in the word pigs. And it gave me the next best, uh, the three next best things to typing in pigs for a tag. So as you can see, I mean, it's pigs, pig, farrowing, you know, piglets. Those were my first three that populated after pig. And then it just, you just keep typing them in. You can go and change them in. And it's called... Keyword ins inspector, okay? So you open up your keyword inspector and all you gotta do is type in a tag that you want. So if you wanna give me a tag, no, vidIQ is not part of the studio, but it runs simultaneously with YouTube. So they actually work together along with like TubeBuddy. I prefer vidIQ because it's on a computer. Too, buddy, I just, I just can't interact with it very well. So it'll ask for your permission to uh, post on your behalf, and that's how it gets its information from your channel. But it also pulls from YouTube everybody else's information. So it works simultaneously. So if you want to give me a tag right now, I will do vidIQ's recommendations for one. And I'll tell you what the best three should be, or the next best three, to go along with that tag. It's like gardening. Okay. So type that in. All right, all you gotta do is hit enter and it starts pulling them up. So gardening, gardens, garden tips, garden hacks. Those are your best, those are the three best tags that come up when you're thinking of gardening. So when people are searching for videos, I have TubeBuddy on my phone. I just, I just have a hard time interacting with it. You know, it's, it's not easy for me to manage and I just don't like its notification network. But, you know, I pull that up on my phone if I want some little bit of information. I just like the way that vidIQ works. It's just like TubeBuddy. I just prefer how that layout is. So it's basically the same thing. So if I were to type in, and you can always change the uh, search keyword to anything you want. And it's got a little plus thing in it. What it does is it automatically populates those into your video's uh, tag menu. So if I typed in vidIQ, it tells me I should say vidIQ versions for YouTube, YouTube CEO or SEO. CEO, SEO, um, and how to get more views on YouTube. Those would be my tags for this video. So if I were to go in and change my tags, so vidIQ is free as long as you want it. Now to get as many tags as they recommend to see how all your videos are performing, you know, saying, these ones need work. Um, what playlist should this be in? It's gonna, that, that costs money, but otherwise it's totally free. Uh, 
I prefer the free version just because I'm cheap. But no, VidIQ does not cost any money. And I can always buy the subscription, which is, oh, and it also comes with, um, when you first sign up, it gives you your academy, VidIQ Academy. And that's for like the first three months, I think, they give that to you. So, and then after that, it does cost money to go to their uh, VidIQ Academy. But all that is is just giving you better ideas on how to do your videos. Um, it's a lot like the YouTube's version of their uh, Creator Studio Academy or Creative Academy or whatever they call it on YouTube. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very... Very comparable, uh, comparable. So it's saying I would rank number 24 for this video. And that's if I type that in right now, which I just saved that in there. And it's giving me all sorts of positive feedback on my SE or SEO score, which is your uh, your overall stance and how you're doing as a channel, how that video is performing. So let's go to analytics. So yeah, it, it'll tell me basically everything YouTube tells me but on a more detailed scale. scale. Hey, Mimsy. How you doing? It's good to see you here. I, I understand that you can't stay long. I'm just kind of chit-chatting about vidIQ. <laughs> um, if anybody wants me to review one of their videos, you can always just drop me a comment. I'll go over it and, you know, tell you what, what I think. I did that with oh, Holly Ridge Homestead. So I did that to their video. They liked the feedback. Good to hear, Mimsy. That's hard to say. You know, you're reading it off and you're just going, huh? <laughs> what did I list on their page? Oh, I'm listed on their page. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, it did a review on that and their video overall was really good. If you haven't checked out Holly Ridge Homestead, I suggest you do that. But overall, they had a really good video. The vidIQ wasn't too bad on that. So if I go back to that, let me go to that video and Tell you kind of what VidIQ was saying about theirs. I want to say their tags were appropriate, but not quite long enough. Let's see. Their video. So they're generating um, 0.3 views per hour on this video. They're the one that I reviewed. Their vidIQ score is really bad though. So it's 15.7 out of 100. But their SEO score is 51.2. Their description was a little short. They didn't share it to Facebook, Twitter, and they haven't pinned a comment. But their tags were good. They are ranked just on the Holly Ridge Homestead. So if you type that in, right after the channel would come that video. So the Farmhouse Table Build Part Two, that is the second video that populate on that. 
Hey Walsh Farms, how how you doing? And Mountain Crest Farm, how you doing? But yeah, so the overall, I mean I can read off basically everything that YouTube's telling them, I can view that as well. So their topics that are similar are hobby and lifestyle, social, uh, uh, social, uh, social, uh, that one word. <laughs> but yeah, um, the only ranking tag that they have is for their channel name. And with vidIQ, if you ever try to rearrange your tags in YouTube, I don't think you can do that, but with vidIQ, you can grab them and pull them and move them around. So say you have one tag that you would prefer to be spotlighted from YouTube, and that will actually uh, allow you to move that to the front. So. Oh. <laughs> hey, Walker Farm, how you doing? But yeah, your overall vid IQ is um, something that can always be improved. Your score, your vid IQ score, it can always be improved. But it's nice seeing. Uh, on your videos, what kind of views you're generating per hour. So you can go to one of the bigger channels, type in Lumina Acres. He's got some outrageous ones. Let's go to one of his. So he has a high search volume and a very low competition. So surprisingly, uh, it's pretty amazing on the kind of stuff that he's posting and the views he's generating. So let's see. He's generating 641 views per hour on one of his videos. It's the Power Tool Storage Rack one. And see, since he's a bigger channel, his title can be too long, but that's okay. Cause that's, you know, he's got the subscriber base to do something like that. He doesn't have to put cards in. He's got the appropriate tags in there. He's got a nice description. He doesn't share it to Twitter and he didn't, didn't pin a comment either. So his channel averages 117.2 thousand daily views. So somebody clicks on his channel, um, or not somebody, but over 100,000 people click on that channel. Hey, you have fun, Mimsy. Good night. <laughs> You've been using TubeBuddy app for tips and things is the app you're talking about. So yeah, TubeBuddy is basically the same thing. I prefer vidIQ. It's just, uh, it works really good with my computer. Uh, TubeBuddy, I just didn't like the way the notifications came across. All right, so, yeah, you know, these bigger channels, he's got uh, 130,000 subscribers, 172,000 subscribers. So he's got the subscriber base to post something off the wall and it'll still rank for him. But like the phrase modern stutter that he always says in his videos. So YouTube looks at those and they say, okay, well that's in his videos, that phrase. So we're gonna boost it a little bit with that. He put it as a tag and it's probably somewhere in his description. Let's look at his description. And 
Yep. It's in there. So those three things really help on your tags. It's um, an add-on to your web browser. So what it is, is it you download it and it kind of works like uh, an app on your web browser. I don't know if they have a phone version. It is free for everyone. And then they have a subscription-based version. Hey, peanut preppers. Oh, Mimsy laughed. <laughs> so. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a little rundown on vidIQ. And it can really help your channel. It can really help you figure out what kind of tags you should be using. So if you can think of a key phrase to build off of, what you can do then is just keep going back and using some of those phrases that it generates for you and post those into your tags. Yes, TubeBuddy does work for your phone. I don't know if vidIQ does, but you know, I, I prefer the vidIQ just because of the way it works. Um, I can constantly change what tags I want to search off of. And, you know, I'll, I'll build a whole tag series off of that, or I'll go into somebody else's video that's similar. So when I did my pizza crust recipe, I just typed in pizza crust, and it told me what the competition level was for that and what the search volume was for that. And so I changed the title to it, to the, uh, I think the best pizza, rest, pizza crust recipe or something like that. And it, it constantly changes every time you type something in. And that's the benefit of it is you get, when you're searching through stuff, you'll get a search volume and Let's just type in family farm. So family farm has a huge competition rate, all right? And the volume of searches is okay. It's not green, it's just below the light green. So it's about minimum, middle of the road. People search it out on average. Uh, Average subscriber base. So someone's posting something with Family Farm five out of five out of fifteen times in the last seven days. So in the last seven days, everybody's posted something that had that would have been five out of the last seventeen or fifteen times. Yes, I can look at anybody's. I can look at anybody's uh, videos that I want and see generate their vidIQ scores, what tags they're using, um, where they've sh shared it. You know, say it was shared on Facebook, shared on Twitter. It lets me know that you you have shared that there. So let's see, Walker Family Farm. Let's go to your channel. All right, so Walker Family Farm, your competition is extremely high. Your search value, really low. Nobody searches for that title. And there's a lot of people with something similar to that title. So there's Walker Farm Inc. That's the one that's killing your guys' search. So that's overpopulating that right now. And I don't know how you can fix that, but I don't think you have to. I mean, you have 806 subscribers. And let's see. Your last video. Let's look at it. So your title was good. Your tags, you didn't have enough. This is what it's telling me for your tags. 
Yeah, it's basically the same thing as uh, TubeBuddy. Right. Oh. Wow. Yeah, Walker Farm family. <laughs> Sorry. I flip flopped that. Or Farm Fam. Walker Farm Fam. Sorry. I copied and pasted it, so. <laughs> but yeah, the video on your. Oh, we are over winter and ready for springtime gardening. You didn't have enough tags in there. You didn't put an end screen in. You haven't shared it to Facebook or Twitter, nor have you pinned a comment, all right? But the big thing that I'm noticing is your tags are too short. So you should try and get that up to at least 200 tags. But yeah, I mean, I can go in and I can pretty much see everything that is going on for you guys. And the nice thing is I can see every one of your comments uh, who has subscribers. So Thomas Farm Oki, you know, they have 58 subscribers. Aunt Ann Tate, she's got over a thousand subscribers. You know, I can go, and that's the nice thing about uh, vidIQ is I can go through and I can analyze all these but hey, that's okay. You don't have Facebook or Twitter. I would suggest you make one of either. There's a lot of uh, YouTube farm community on Facebook. Uh, two channels I can think of off, or groups that I can think of off my heads is homesteading, YouTube homesteaders, I think that's what it's called. YouTube Homesteaders or Homesteaders on YouTube. That's it. Homesteaders on YouTube. See, vidIQ will give you phrases that you could use on your video. So let me go into it. And you have, let's see, I have some of those. So let's copy. So you have soil tests in it. I want to copy that. And vidIQ will tell me what some similar things are to soil test, okay? And it takes out a huge guesswork of it. So you should have also typed in like soil testing, soil, soil testing or soil test kit, but it'll also tell you what the search volume is for it and the competition level and the overall score of that phrase. So if you were to put in soil testing, that would have been a decent uh, thing to put in. It just ranks a little bit higher in soil test. It ranks uh, 59 out of 100 and soil test ranks 58 out of 100. So it's just a little bit better, but you know, the more tags you get in there, the more times YouTube can say, okay, well, this person's searching for this. Oh, you do have an Instagram. I don't know. See, vidIQ doesn't work with Instagram. It works with Facebook, Twitter. Uh, what's the other one that it works with? Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and let's see. see their upgrade options. So yeah, if you were to up or purchase vidIQ, and these are kind of crazy to do, but you'd have access to social and historical data, powerful SEO and analysts is their boost program. Now, the lowest plan that you could purchase would be $10 a month. The next plan up is $49 a month. And if you really wanted to go crazy with it, you could go with $499 a month. And it gives 
you know, certain plans give you special things. You get on the phone consultations. You get personalized tips and tricks specific to your channel. A deep dive into analytics ben uh, benchmark and building on your performance. You can identify competitors. So vidIQ will also tell you, yeah, some of them are some outrageous, but I'm sure those are meant for the big YouTubers, you know, even bigger than Lumina Acres, like, uh, what's that, Chad Clay. My kids freaking like him. I don't know why. But his videos are really captivating. He's always talking. He's always moving. You know, he's always doing something. That the kids are just into the ninja. You know, he does that ninja stuff, and I don't get it. And then they created that, uh, what do they call him? The hacker. You know, he goes around deleting people's videos. So, you know, he's, he's got a plot. And vidIQ people like that. And SEO. Let's, let's go into that. Because I'm not super great with that either. Let me type that in. So an SEO score is, oh, it is. Oh, it, you know what? I don't even know. It says an SEO score is just um, your stats and statistics. Uh, it's just something that YouTube uses to generate. Hey, Cooper fan with Homestead. I almost said farm. <laughs> so your SEO score is just what YouTube uses to uh, kind of rank your videos. Um, there's a couple of videos on what an SEO score is. Uh, it takes into account a huge uh, variety of stats to determine the likelihood that your video will surface in any particular YouTube search. So what an SEO score is, is what uh, YouTube's using kind of for their analytics to populate their search results. And since YouTube's the second largest search engine, you know, I'm sure they got one heck of a database on what people like when they type something in. But yeah, so that's all I got for you guys tonight. I uh, just wanted to talk about vidIQ and what I think about it. I prefer it over TubeBuddy just because TubeBuddy, it keeps giving me, let me pull out my phone. Every time I go into it, it tells me I have a notification on my comments and stuff. Let's see if I can get that in there. No, it'll... Ah, I don't even know what happened. Okay. Oh, yeah. So my milestones, I just got another milestone. But it's, you know, every time it goes up and I get these things. And I can't ever make them go away. These little red things on the bottom. I don't really like using it just because of that fact. I can never make those comments go away. Every time I click on it, I scroll through to see if there's a new one. Nothing. So that's why I prefer the vidIQ. It's just easier for me to handle. <laughs> well, yeah, TubeBuddy's pretty good. I mean, it gives you some tags. It lets you see other people's tags. But overall, I would just, if I'm posting from my computer, it's just super easy to have vidIQ always running on that browser. And then it gives me a detailed chart on my stats. So for the last 12 months, my hours watched are 405 hours. How many views I'm generating in the last hour? I'm at 13 is my average for the last 16 minute, or 60 minutes. The last 48 hours, 
I've had 184 views. And then it gives me a percentage. In the last seven days, I'm down 27% for video views. And I'm also down on minutes watched. And my subscriber, I'm going down. But I'm sure I'll start growing again. But I know a lot of them left as soon as I announced the winner on the subscriber giveaway. <laughs> I'm sure it'll pick up once, uh, you know, the gardening and all that starts. Cause people like watching that. You know, in, in the winter months, it's hard for homesteading and stuff like that. Just because you don't really have the content. It, yeah, I agree. It does run in cycles. It's a constant up and down. I had a nice trend going. And I use Social Blade to project where I should be at. And now it's kind of stalled out and my projections are going further and further out to hit. Uh, I think it's 750 is my next subscriber milestone. Yeah, I, I don't understand why people unsubscribe. I just, whatever. If you don't want to watch the video, just mute it. <laughs> yeah, it is hard to start in the winter. So... What I had done was we had uh, videotaped a lot of the pole barn build throughout the, the summer. And then after I got a bunch of video, then I purchased Adobe Premiere. And I worked off of that for a while. And I kind of ran out of stuff. <laughs> so, I mean, I have plenty of video. It's just like it doesn't really fit the channel at all. So I was just kind of like, eh. I mean, I have, we're at low enough subscriber count to where it's not really like critical that I stick with a certain type. But I know that it's preferred. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The analytics can only go so far. Now, it, you do have. You know, you can kind of see what other people are liking, though. They get to see what your interaction level is through your analytics, saying, oh, well, people just, they don't want to watch it because they keep clicking away. So obviously, I'm not pulling them in to watch the video. Um, a lot of the bigger people like Mr. Beast and stuff like that, what they'll do is they they say you just, just posting whatever we are doing you know whatever it, it is what it is if if you can captivate the people and they like watching it we started doing it so so uh we could remember this i mean it's a free it's a free uh video saver for future generations of family they can come back and say oh look at what grandpa built <laughs> Well, I'm glad. I'm glad I have. Um, I've learned a lot of this lately myself. Uh, let's see, it was Wethington Photos. He, uh, he's the one that actually turned me on to vidIQ. My wife is the one that told me about Kavana. Or not Kavana. Canva. She was complaining to me last night because I didn't say it right. <laughs> it's can... The. <laughs> so that's where I do my thumbnails is Canva and vidIQ is where I try and get all my tags from. They just tell me what the similar stuff is. And if I don't like the search performance on a tag, I just don't use it. Now, what I have done on a video is I've tried to use uh, you need new internet? Yeah, my internet, it's uh, broadband, or not broadband, it's high speed, I don't know what that is. It's it's a uh, high speed cable company. But my problem was our router. I had to go out and I got a new router and that really changed the performance of our internet. 
up to oh, 100, 120 something megabytes per second, where we were at 15 megabytes per second with a max of like 30. So it really changed on how our, our internet was dis distributed throughout the house. So we run Wi-Fi and everything, but it came with some satellites so I can actually post out in the pole barn if I wanted to, because I have, even though it's 300 feet away, my Wi-Fi reaches there. <laughs> so I have a satellite upstairs in the pole barn, and then I have the main hub by the router. Oh, that's a, that's a pain. That would have ticked me off if they wouldn't run it to me. Uh, I know my cousin had that problem, and he had to pay like an additional uh, $2,500 for them to finish running it a quarter of a mile because they didn't want to run it to him. It was, they stopped at where the uh, pavement stopped, and he was just down the road. <laughs> It was like, are you kidding me? It was like not even a quarter of a mile. You and they still refused. Wow, I can't believe that they would refuse free free service that they're going to charge you for. <laughs> uh, oh well. Um. I hear that they have those satellite satellite internet coming up and running soon. There was <coughs> they were testing that in Africa or something like that. So we'll see if that comes through. They were saying like 2021, but you know, who knows? I know that the uh, infrastructure for that kind of stuff is starting to pick up. So my rental they didn't have high speed internet and they're supposed to get it this year now. And there's been a lot of people asking for it for the last 15 years. <laughs> when I was growing up, they stopped it a mile away from my house and they never touched it again because the economy, they just said it wasn't worth it. The infrastructure to, to build that up, they had no write-offs coming for that. So now that everything's kind of changed, they have all the write-off possibilities. Yeah, it does look a little promising. I'm kind of hoping it works. You know, then you can just get rid of all these lines and only have electrical lines, which eventually we might all go away from one day with uh, solar, but who knows? I'd like to get solar roof tiles, but... First of all, they're really expensive. And second of all, I don't think you can get them in Michigan. You can only get the panels. That's something that Tesla is making. I just don't know if they're still doing that. All right. Well, you have a good night. I'm about ready to get off here, too. I've been rambling on for almost an hour now. So, but yeah, if you don't have vidIQ, I suggest getting it. It really helps out with finding your tags. I posted a picture on the roof panel. All right, I will do that. I will definitely check that out. And I will do, um, I'll probably try and do a review on that video then on uh, Tuesday. So I'll try and do a review on Tuesday on that video. Uh, Monday I should have a, or tomorrow, I should have a sub pump video coming out. I had, I had my sub pump just failed on me. The switch stopped working in it. So it was a race against the clock because my battery backup couldn't keep up with the amount of water we have filling into our basement. So. It's not the best video quality because I don't have, I didn't have the time to make sure everything was set up. 
I had to constantly go back and forth, making sure the switch was on, draining the tank or the pit. So, all right. But yeah, I'm out of here too. You guys all have a great night. May God bless you and your family. And we'll see you next time. Take care.